Hi everyone! <laughs> I will wait a little bit until I will start to wait for some people to come join me. And now I see some people coming into the chat. I'm really happy. Um, my name is Clarissa and today I will do a quick live session, a get ready with me together with Pauline and I think she already requested to join our session. So let me see if I can... I hope it will work out. <laughs> We're gonna get ready together. Hello. Oh, hi, <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. I'm so I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was supposed to join you or wait to be requested. <laughs> oh, everything worked out well. So I'm really happy we're doing this today. Yes, so me too. I already started a small introduction. So um, maybe you go first. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Hello to everyone that who doesn't know me, I'm Pauline Briscoe and I'm a international celebrity makeup artist and I've been a makeup artist for over 20 years now. Um, yeah, so I have lots of um, really nice clients. I do photo shoots, TV commercials, I do master classes as well, I teach, I do social media, YouTubes, I make videos and I like to enhance people's natural beauty. That's one of my favorite things and I like achievable beauty and universal beauty that sort of suits all skin tones. And that's exactly what we love about you and your account and your work of course. Thank um, you. It's Clarissa and I'm not a uh, makeup professional like you <laughs> but I'm a um, makeup enthusiast so I'm really happy that we will be doing two different looks on two different skin types but still yeah. with the same products because all of the Soeva products are very versatile and um, can use them in yeah multiple ways so I'm really happy and we will start from the very beginning so maybe we just get going thank you everyone for joining us as well I can see lots of people coming on from lots of different countries as well so uh, Greece lucky <laughs> I wish maybe. I was in Greece <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, so how are we going to start off? What are right, you so going Clarissa, you said you're going to do a lovely natural daytime look, aren't you? And yes. I was going to go for the more glamorous evening look, which I think is nice because some people like um, a natural kind of daytime look and some people like the more glam, full-on makeup look. So it's yeah. nice that we can both do this. Yeah, very true. Okay. Yeah. So... so uh, Maybe let us introduce our hero products for today. Okay. So what we will be doing is we are going to try to build a look around our Together We Shine collection, which consists of a small travel size eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Um, of a face palette yeah. and of a big eyeshadow palette, which you can see with Pauline as well. And yeah. also... Um, the Together We Shine collection consists of a brush set, which comes... Lovely. Love that bag. I'm actually going to use that as a purse as well. <laughs> I true. love it. Yeah. <laughs> and what I really love about all of these products is that they're really clean and that they are vegan and cruelty-free. So yeah. it's something super nice. So this is um, natural synthetic hair, um, not animal hair, which is really important to me. And can yeah. I just say, Zoeva brushes, guys, take this from a professional makeup artist, are absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that because I'm on this live. They mm -hmm. are fantastic. I always get people asking me, what's the best brushes? Here we go. Yeah. Amazing <laughs> brushes. Really are. Of course. <laughs> okay. They are, honestly. So, All right. Uh, so what are we going to start? With foundation? Yeah. So we're going to use the Authentic Skin Foundation. Yeah. And here's my one about the foundation is that uh, we have so many different shades i mean um the shade suits me i'm using the generous shade which one are you using trusted Pauline? so this one's mm -hmm. called trusted this is 420 really nice neutral so it's 420n which my skin tone is quite neutral i vary it from neutral to warm depending on the weather and depending um yeah what's going on season wise but neutral you can't go wrong 
with neutral colors. So I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use this gorgeous brush. It works as a kabuki brush. I love it because it really does help to buff the foundation through really seamlessly. And it gives that lovely retouch look, which everybody loves. <laughs> what are you using? What brush? Uh, I'm going to use the 104 buffer brush. Okay. So I really like to use that brush as well. It takes just the right amount of foundation. And by the way, I don't even need a mirror because I'm using this Together We Shine included yeah, mirror. Yeah, which is really easy to use, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. Really lovely. So I love these because I like to always make sure I buff the foundation in to my skin. I kind of do kind of buffy movements and sometimes circular movements. I just find it really does help to give that perfect polished finish and always do your lids guys everyone forgets their lids for some reason i'm not sure why <laughs> it's still part of your face so don't forget to do your lids when you're doing your foundation mm. and under your chin as well just to make sure you don't have like a harsh line there because i don't know if you've noticed some people when they do their foundation you always see where they finished it just there on the it's jawline Go also, underneath a little bit. Like if, if the tone doesn't really match the skin tone. So what you can see with this foundation, this is my really like a really great match because it really matches my skin. You can't even see a big difference. It's medium coverage. So I really like my natural skin to come through. So mm -hmm, I only do a tiny bit. But if you do want more, for example, like I'm doing the evening look, it's always nice that this foundation is buildable, which it is, which is perfect. So you can add as much consistency as you need if you want a bit more of a heavier coverage. Because some people obviously like a share coverage, some people like a medium build, and some people like full-on coverage. So this foundation is lovely because it's really hydrating and it's buildable, which is yeah. perfect now. Everyone wants that. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to go in a little bit more because I have little problem areas right around my chin so mm -hmm. I have like scars and spots where I can't stop picking so yeah. that's left me with little black scars so I always add a little bit more foundation when it comes to that part of my face just around this area mm -hmm. and under my chin I won't even show you under my chin it's just like quite scary <laughs> so yeah, I always add a little bit more foundation just it matches so well I really like it because you still have that glow like it doesn't cover in a not natural way I really yeah. like it. exactly then, look can you see my skin is like really glowy it just looks yeah. really smooth and really sheer love it yeah really nice okay so what are you gonna go in with next I'm gonna use a tiny bit of concealer okay we do have the matching concealer to foundation so that's the authentic skin foundation here yeah, i'm mm -hmm. going for a slightly lighter color than um, the foundation just to i'm not really using to correcting it but more to highlight some areas of the face so i do exactly i do that that's what yeah. i do as well because i'm i'm not really super dark under my eyes i have one eye that sort of dips more than the other side but i do like to highlight my face and it gives you a bit more of a 3d look rather than your face looking too flat. So yeah. concealer has moved on, hasn't it? From what yeah. it used to be. It used to be about covering spots and scars, which obviously it still is, but it's also about giving your, your face that 3D dimensional look. And I'm gonna do that as well. So I'm gonna use my shade and this one is in True. And I'm actually going, I know this sounds crazy. I'm going at least four shades lighter. Remember I'm doing my evening look cause I want my makeup to really pop. So it looks really light, but because this concealer is great, it's really buildable, it does blend into the skin perfectly. So I'm going to go underneath like that. I'm going to do a little bit here, a little bit there, and I'm just going to do a little bit there. So it looks a bit scary right now, but just take your buffing brush and you can just buff it through. So I'm going to go underneath. And, and you see how it just seamlessly blends under the eyes, but it just brightens it up at the same time. And Pauline, which brush are you using? Are you using oh, the... Oh, sorry. It's, it's the Concealer Perfecta. Yeah. It's this me... one. It's like shaped like a... It's got sort of like a... It like... I'm like a dome. Like a tip. But yes, even like a little tip. <laughs> like, I really... 
Yeah. It's so soft and this actually is my favorite brush. I'm obsessed. But can you see how that concealer, even though it looks like, oh my God, this looks so light for your skin. Did you see how that sunk into my skin? And yeah. then just blended through really well. Look at that. Great. So it gives perfect, look at that. Bright look. And do you use sweeping or like pressing? I, I, I prefer to do a press and a buff like this. And then I'll just buff along until it's blended to perfection, just like that. Just like that. Is this um, con concealer got hyaluronic acid in it? Do you know the ingredients of it? Uh, actually, Pauline, I don't want to say anything wrong. Oh, okay. Because it, it feels really hydrating on the skin. That's why I asked you. It's not but dry. Because you, you know, some concealers are quite thick and dry. And this one isn't. It just works so well. There you go. And then I'm just going to do my nose now. So would that be your daytime look? Is that what you do every day? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Ooh. I go a little faster, of course, because usually I don't talk. But uh, yeah, it takes like, <laughs> of course. I don't know, like five to 10 minutes. But yeah. it's like, I really love it because that's the time of the day where just, you know, I'm with myself. I'm listening to some nice music, have a morning coffee and yeah, yeah. just natural look saskia says we both look incredible thank you Aww, and she that's... said she adores the brushes as well and i think someone asked me a few questions before i don't know if you want to do questions now while we're oh. doing it of course yeah um i don't know if it was on here is when i um done uh stories um they were asking what's the what what, what what's the best way in helping your makeup to stay all day but to give it that lo longevity as well. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, well, I did a masterclass not too long ago. I always say brushes. Getting the right brushes really helps your makeup to, number one, look really professional looking, really perfect. But it also, I'm not joking, it actually does work to help to set your makeup all day. If you get the right brushes, especially these Kabuki style brushes to start off with your foundation, you'll just get a seamless blend and it's just the material of the, the actual bristle it just really does help to set that foundation and it helps to set the makeup look so i always say start with decent brushes obviously amazing makeup as well <laughs> and depends on what consistency you want just build yeah i totally agree definitely it's going to use go awesome. this brush that's over the edges sorry what was you saying it's also like how you use the brushes and how well you work the products. I mean, I rather take some more time to really, mm -hmm. you know, prep the skin, for example. For me, very good makeup always starts with the skin. Like the oh, skin God, 100%. and like the makeup is, is done properly. It's so, so much better. Yeah, 100% hydrated skin as well and eat well also um good skincare right yep. really right. really does help 100 percent. i think cool so what are we going to move on to next i always use a bronzer and i actually um really love this bronzer we have um yeah, from yeah. and i will use it with our new bronzer brush mm -hmm. this one so do you do bronzer? It's funny you had that question. Do you do bronzer before you do eyes then? Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know. It's just how I did it, like, since forever. And I really like to just, uh, yeah, finish my skin. And then I give yeah. a little touch up, like highlighter I do later on. But like bronzer, yeah. I use for eyes. So you're going to start with eyes now? Go for it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to put this on later on. Sorry, I've got it upside down. This is Share Your Light. How lovely is this? This is the Radiant Highlighter Bronzer. This is in Lumi. But I like to do that towards the end because I prefer to do eyes first because then I can know how much bronzer I would need or how much, say, powder or contouring around the face I would need. Yeah. It all depends on what's going on with the eyes for me. But yeah, I do know people that do it your way as well, which is great. Yeah, maybe, you know what? I can really learn from you because I do the same makeup pretty much every day. Okay. So for me, you know, I really know 
what I <laughs> will look like. Yeah, it's just your, it's just, yeah, you're, it's like a habit, isn't it? It's what you're yeah, used to. Right. The only problem with, with bronzer, how, you just won't know how much consistency to use or how much bronzer you would use for a certain eye look. Like if you were going yeah. in a smoky That's eye, you might have got overdone it with the bronzer and it all becomes too much. So yeah, I would maybe next time try, leave the bronzer to the end. Yeah, that's a really good try, yeah. try it. Yeah. Try it. You never know. I'll wait for you then to bronze your face and then we'll start eyes together. Yeah, so I pretty much do it to really frame my face so I won't put it on my nose or like in the center of the face. I just go mm -hmm. around. I also around put edges. it on my neck. Yeah, because so, it's got a lovely shimmer to it as well. This is it, guys. Yeah. Can can they see your one? Because I think someone was saying this is a lovely bronze. I see. Stunning. Yeah, it's the Lumi. So it's uh, 0 0.4 Lumi. Mm -hmm. I really love the colors. They match my skin type so well. Really lovely. Really gorgeous colors. And I love it again. As you said, they you've got... I love it that you have shades for all. Because this foundation even goes darker than me. I think there's like two, three more shades darker than this yeah. one. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah. It's, yeah, I really love that as well. And even yeah. like, I, um, well, I mean, everyone knows, for example, in the winter, I'm lighter than in, in the summertime or during the summertime. And yeah. I, actually, I own uh, three or four different foundations. So I can sometimes I even mix them. Um, in the winter, I use the lighter version. Now I like a medium. And then in summertime, during summertime, hopefully summer comes pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, I will use a darker one. So yeah. it's really. So, someone just asked uh, regarding, I said they're 37, they've noticed their pores are more visible. How can they minimize that? Um, mm -hmm. I would say to minimize pores, obviously, skincare and you know get a good primer that is like a blurring one but maybe stay away from highlighters in those areas where the pores are more visible because that will highlight it more keep I that also, part of the skin a bit a little bit more matte i would say like my my skin really differs and i always notice if i try to kind of cover up the pores which is like wrong mm. um it it gets worse or more visible so more i visible. try really light uh makeup yeah yeah definitely stay away from uh, quite shiny uh products i would say personally um just not to highlight it it's just one of those things some people have more visible pores than others and that's mm. just the luck of the game isn't it okay cool yeah. so should we do the together we shine eyeshadow palette yes are you going for the big one or the small one so i'm going for the big one <laughs> okay i'm going for the baby <laughs> okay you go for the baby i'm going for the big i like big Right, so what colors are you going to dip into? I like to prep my eye, um, actually with some matte colors. So yeah. I will mix these both and just okay. the entire lid. Nice. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in, it's hard to show you here. I'm going to start with strength. So I'm going to do a slightly more evening smoke. So I'm going to go in with strength, which is like a deep dark plummy shade it's such a gorgeous shade and it veers onto the browns as well so i always say when you're doing the outer because i'm gonna start on the outer corner of my eyes always let that be the darkest shade in your palette and then you go lighter as you go more to the center and towards the inner corner so i'm mm -hmm. gonna use my lovely brush here i'm just gonna try and make this not dirty here so this one is for the crease so i'm just gonna tap in like that and then I'm just going to tilt my chin. And then I do like a C shape. I don't know what you do, but I do a C shape like that. Or I, sometimes I call it a V shape. And then I use the blending brush and I just blend the colour through to the centre of the socket and down towards the lash line. I use the same brush as you. And like we said at Ooh. the beginning, get the uh, We Shine brush set. And yeah. I'm using Loyalty first. And then a okay. little bit. So are you adding that to the center of your lid? Uh, yeah, right. Cool. And to the crease. Okay, so I'm staying away from the middle because I want to have that in a different shade. So I'm literally just going on my socket. And I am quite lucky. I do have quite a deep socket. A lot of people have hooded eyes and they always uh, ask, ask the question, how do you do eyeshadow for hooded eyes? I would say stay away from darker shades stay away from shimmery shades 
let the shade be quite light, but you can slightly take it higher, use a blending brush, and then just take it a bit more higher towards your brow bone, but keep the shade really natural, really neutral. Because I know a lot of people do have problems with that. I actually do some it's really weird because when I get really tired, yeah, yeah, my old eyes become smaller and smaller and smaller. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Your eyes look quite big to me, so you're obviously not tired today. <laughs> yeah, I'm not tired today, and um, I also struggle with puffiness in the morning. So I right, actually, which a lot of people do. Yeah, but then I really like to stretch my morning routine a little bit and use the Zoeva Pride eye mask. Have you tried them? No, I haven't. Really? Is it good? Oh, they're so good. Like they're eye patches with caffeine. And if you place oh, I've them... I've heard of them. I haven't personally tried those. No, I know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I use more of the brightening, illuminating ones. and But they don't have caffeine in it. Yeah. That sounds great. This, can I just say, this brush is fantastic. It's so soft. It look, just blends through so seamlessly. It's lovely. And I love this eyeshadow colour as well. It's like buttery. It's really nice. It's just so easy to blend through. This is it, someone was asking. So Natalie says the palette is fabulous. Hi, Nat. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to now go in with, let me see what shades. See, I've got choices, choices. It's too many <laughs> lovely choices in this palette. I can't even think which one I want to do. <laughs> what should I go for? Okay, let's have a look. Okay. I think, mm, so it's a toss up between this beautiful, it's like a champagne pink called opti, opti I can't say, opti, optimism, or we've got the radiance. I don't know. Someone let me know. Maybe someone let me know. Which one should I go for? So it's like a champagne pink, or we've got this like copper gold. Let's see. I actually would go for the champagne pink. The cham like champagne that. pink? All right, I'm yeah. going to go for it. So someone says, what is the name of your palette, Pauline? So it's the Together We Shine palette. It's just a bigger version of Clarissa's. It's exactly the same. It's this one. It's just a bigger version. But actually, so you, oh, you, you said it's a bigger version. I mean, that's somewhat true, but still. <laughs> the shades are slightly different? Yeah. Do we have all of my shades in yours? No. Nope oh right you see i thought they were yeah. they look so similar i know so it's the same bit down here what especially the the, the bottom section yeah that's right you, this on top can we can we can we can we zoom into yours so people can see the difference so the color word is the same but still there's somewhat different for mm -hmm. you can see it's slightly isn't it you see, yours is more intense, for example. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's the same color world, but the shades are slightly different. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so someone said I should do a mix of both. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, why not? I mean, shall I do that? You, you can handle it. <laughs> I know. I can. <laughs> right. I'm going to do it. Then everyone's happy. Okay. So I'm going to go in. With optimism and then I'm gonna go in with radiance there we go so are you ready I'm just gonna tap it on it's hard to do this in the mirror or to let you guys see at the same time how oh, stunning is that so good wow how gorgeous is that oh my gosh Great. It makes me want to go out tonight look at that yeah that is so pretty honestly look at that and your just eye here's like a lot bigger it's so nice yeah i know it's just like in an instant so i literally just tap it like that and then slightly blend it through to the darker color so it gives it like a seamless sort of blend yeah that is lovely Looks love great. that so actually i'm yeah, gonna look. go with a little shimmer as well the pigment I'm... is fantastic guys i'm gonna use this one next what's I'm... that one called sincerity lovely and I'm gonna, I really love the shade names. They're so nice. But I was just about to say that. Aren't they lovely? So uplifting, aren't they? Yeah, motivating, nice. We need, just... we need that. We need it. <laughs> yeah. So it's really, really nice. I, I oh just my God. love The pigment, I... no fallout, by the way, everyone. I have so much people ask me about fallout. Not yeah. one drop of fallout. I can even zoom in. Look. 
Did you know you can zoom in, Clarissa? No. How did she do that? <laughs> you just go like that with your fingers. Ah, okay. Look, not one fallout. Amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to go underneath my eyes with the darker strength colour, the one I used on my outer corner. Just going to go underneath a little bit. It just helps to marry up what I've done on top. To do it on that side. I actually only use like a shiny bit of the clattery shade and I really like, and I know this is not what you usually do, but I love it, to um, just place it directly under the eyebrow, but just like- Yeah, tiny. that's fine. No, I do do that. No, I do that. No, really? Nice. Yeah. Don't do that. You don't do that, but I love it. <laughs> oh, no, I do. Listen, if it blends through lovely, why not? There's no rules. <laughs> There's no rules in this game of makeup. Just make it look nice. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I'm going to, hope I'm not skipping to ahead, but I'm going to use the lovely Limitless Joy Eyeliner Pencil in Trust. It's a gorgeous black and it's really creamy and just glides on so easily. So I'm going to put it on my waterline. So I'm just going to, just so soft and creamy. So some eyeliners drag. This one just literally glides. And what I love about it is that it's a super black, black, so intense i just love it look at that and i always find it hard to get a black eyeliner because obviously i'm quite dark skin and i really it needs to pop it needs to be black it needs to do what it says on the tin and it, this one is this yeah. is trust and i trust it <laughs> <laughs> lovely i actually use the same now okay um, and where do you use it on your waterline yeah but i use a brown one so it's called devotion because black okay. is too much yeah, especially for my daytime look. Exactly. I was just about to say that. I'm yeah. going to use a little bit on my upper lash line as well. I'm going to put it on the waterline and upper lash line, just a little yeah. bit. And I will blend it out later on. Yeah. Sometimes I put it on... Um... Oh, I can't talk anymore. I forgot what it's called. Cool. Yeah, sometimes I put it underneath here. But not today because I don't want... I'm... We're doing a live and I wear contact lenses. And sometimes me putting it right here on my tight line actually yeah. irritates my lenses a little bit but it always looks nice especially for the evening if you can do it on your tight line because then it just looks so smoky and so even and there's no gaps it's perfect yeah i'm just what gonna literally put it there is that you put it on you can smudge it and then it stays put like all day long i really like yeah. that because but this is so easy because it just glides on it's yeah. so easy just to like, look at that. It doesn't even drag at all. And the color stays really intense. I love it. So the way I've done it, I've used it as almost like a um, gel liner on my top. That's how intense it is. It's perfect. And I, I don't really smudge mine. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Really strong, really defined. Like that. Cool. Looks gorgeous. And now we have this brush in the set, in the Together We Shine set. It's called Petite Creaser. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use it to blend the eyeshadow. I actually used mine just a little bit underneath here, this brush. So I used it underneath my lower lash line. So obviously this is why I love your brushes because they're multi-functional, multi-use. You don't always have to just use it for one thing, even though obviously it says what to use it for. You can have, use it on other parts of the yeah. face as well, which is fantastic because then you can just pop it in your makeup bag, bring a couple of brushes with you and it does the job. It's perfect. Yeah, and it right. also uh, sets so versatile. Mm-hmm, 100%. Yeah. Right, I'm going to just coat my lashes now with the Infinite Potential Mascara. Again, a super black, black, love it. And look how fat this brush is. This brush, guys, is perfect for me because my lashes are so sparse and ridiculous. Um, I always need a really gorgeous, a fat bristle mascara wand and it's a super black, black as well. And it gives you a lot of volume. So much volume gonna do the same i'm also using the infinite potential mascara and normally you wiggle from the root to the tip and even if you have to do a couple more coats go for it and i always like to do 
my bottom lash as well. Look at that, it's so nice. It's really hard to see. Let me do a zoom again. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey Victoria. <laughs> so gorgeous. Perfect. All right, let me slide back out. Ooh, close-ups is really close on here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to try that next time. <laughs> I'm going to do it in just a second. Oh. Okay. And do you do your bottom lashes as well? Uh, yeah, but just a tiny bit. What are your lashes? Oh, you've got long lashes, I can see already. You lucky thing. But this is crazy. I love the difference. Like, let me let me try out the zoom thing. Wow, look at that. That's nuts. Look at that. That's a map. Oh my god. It's That's amazing. A... Yeah. Look at the difference. Look like another girl on one side. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's amazing. So let's do the other side. And I love it because it's got so much mascara as well on it because some and of the scars also, are quite dry this one's not i love that it's a bit I more really wet the mascara because usually i have a, i'm using a new one right now like a brand new one yeah and i hate to use new mascaras because they're too kind of wet yeah and this one is just perfect right from the beginning yeah same this is brand new as well look at that such oh i love it Oh my god, I wish I was going somewhere tonight. Okay, so I'm going to do my bottom lash now. And when I do my bottom lash, I always tilt my chin because I don't want the mascara to hit my skin. Let's do that side. Just love how my face has got this lovely glow from the foundation. Mm. But it doesn't look cakey or something. No, not at all. It's because it's got, it's, I don't know if it's got hyaluronic acid in it, but it's really hydrating. That's perfect. Okay. I'm just trying to read some people's comments. As you can see, I love to do like 100 coats of mascara. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Oh, you're welcome. So I'm just looking at some people's comments and what? If they're asking any more questions, does anyone have any more questions? Yeah, this is the Together We Shine palette. So, okay, cool. Oh, There's too many, the too many questions. I can't answer. <laughs> I always mess up a little bit. So what I like to do, I just use the brush again. Mm -hmm. and uh, just blend a little bit well i uh, said so did mascara go on there yeah yeah but it's fine once as long as the mascara is still wet it's easy just to you can erase any mistakes that you've made yeah super simple cool that's gorgeous hey okay what are we going to move on to um so now I'm going to finish off the face because I'm already done. Almost done. Almost, almost done. done. Almost done. Um, so what I want to use is the Together We Shine face palette now. Me too. Okay, so I'm going to go on this gorgeous, highly pigmented shade here called Celebration. Um, mm -hmm. don't know if the comments are a little bit on my face. I don't know if I can. Anyway, if you can see there, if I could try to sit up a little bit. Mm. that one there it's got like a nice sort of um rosy pink with a shimmer pigment and i'm gonna use this brush right here yeah can you see so this is called cream cheek and it's like what? a nice angled brush oh it's called cream cheek yeah i'm gonna I'm go gonna for the one for the growth called growth this one lovely so i'm literally just gonna apply it to my cheekbone it just gives a gorgeous high shine shimmer without it looking too much and the pink gives me that sort of really girly glowy effect which i really love like that can you see it yeah let's do that side as well such a gorgeous palette this i like it because it's got a mix of mattes and a mix of shimmers
Lovely, look at that. So what inspired the name Together We Shine? I'm gonna add a little bit on my nose here. Well, Do you know very, what is it's very inclusive and it's from women for women and um we can support and empower each other, especially during these difficult times. And our founder Zoe, she always really cares for everyone out there and um yeah, everyone can shine very individually. I'm put some here, so yeah tried to make something which really suits everyone for every day and i think this is totally possible for the together uh, with the together we shine collection that's so nice what a lovely ethos a lovely yeah. idea you know what that's given me a little bit more inspiration this shine that i've got going on here so i've added it a little bit to my nose as well i've added it to my brow bone i'm just going to add it to the inner corner so as a makeup artist we don't like to use just a palette just for the cheeks just because it says that we if we feel like it can go somewhere else we will go for it <laughs> so <laughs> i'm gonna add a little bit of that to the inner corner here just to pop my eyes a little bit oh that's pretty maybe i should try it as well <laughs> but again that's what makeup artists do we're so experimental and we're not scared to try different things it's just something we like to do we're just a bit crazy like that but look it just really pops i really like that and it just makes it multifunctional then multi-use yeah absolutely gonna add blend it through there a little bit so in effect now i've got three colors on my eyes which is amazing looks so pretty on you add a little bit more mascara <laughs> i love it and it's all like pinks and plums yeah cool you're gonna do your lips now yes Okay. We have a, a lip twist called the Powerful Lip Twist. Ta -da! Look, I've got four of them here because oh. I don't know which one. Yeah, I only... <laughs> and I've got four lip glosses. I don't know which one. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, like, it's <laughs> my, like, everyday makeup routine. So I use both, but yeah, these two colors every day. I love them. But actually, I don't know what to do. I love all of them. For the lip twist, I like to use, yeah, all of them as well. So today I'm going with Hestia. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pop a couple of these colors so everyone can see on the back of my hand. So yeah. this shade here, which is a chocolate, is called Cassandra, which is that one. It's quite a deep chocolate shade. Then we've got, so we've got here, we have, oh, can't read the name. Oh, yeah, Iris, which is that one there. It's a bit more of a sort of a mauvey pink. And then we've got this super deep one called Irata, which is that one there. It's like a purpley shade, which is lovely. Purpley plum. I feel like I might want to do that, you know. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. And then I've got Helen, which is that one there. Oh, that What do you reckon? Good. Which one should I go for? I really like the last one. This well, one? That's... Yeah. Shall I do that or should I do that middle one? I feel like that oh. might... I like both. <laughs> remember, you've got to think about what I've got on my eyes as well. Yeah, maybe the more intense one. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So the intense one is Arata. Arato, I should go for that Arata. one. I'm just going to literally glide that all over my lip. So easy to glide as well. It's really creamy, really lovely. Lovely texture. I always use it as a uh, lip liner. So I... Yeah. On, yeah, outside and then actually that's the last step because now i'm using a lip gloss what which one are you going for i love these lip glosses by the way yeah let me check the color i actually don't know because i've been using it forever i don't even know the shape anymore share with me share with me okay again oh, that is so stunning this i love it Just really gives me that really nice evening look. But I'm going to pop a bit of a gloss on top because that's what I'm like. <laughs> and, oh, I don't even know what my favourite gloss is. I think it could be the dream with me. Look at that because it's like iridescent. Oh, oh, I, yeah. Isn't it nice? Look, I'm going to just get closer so everyone can see. Can you see? It's like a crystal white with pink in it. 
so lovely. Dream with me. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that on. I'm just going to pop it on the back of my hand and then use my finger to apply that. And I normally tap on the centre. Look at that. Wow, that's great. It really picks up the purple in this lipstick. You look stunning. You look beautiful. You do. I love it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Super nice. It matches your eye color like perfectly. And that's so nice. what you should always do, by the way. Um, try to find a color that's complementary to what you've got on your eyes. That way it looks more uniform and more professional. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. Yeah. You look stunning. Beautiful daytime look. Thank you. You should give yeah. us a zoom in. Give us a zoom in. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now that I know how it works. Lovely. Look at that. Really yes. fresh, really pretty. I love that. And I'll it's do my zoom in. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That looks gorgeous. It was so much fun. So much fun. I'm going to go out and rock this look now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so much from you. Thank you so much, Pauline. Hope so. Anyone got any questions, you can send me a DM as well about the Zoeva range. Yeah. And we're going to save this live as IGTV. So everyone who missed it can, yeah, tune in Yes, later. please. Because there's a lot of people in the UK that are still at work and they say, please be save the live. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Have a lovely evening then. You too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, bye.